What's up? This is EasyOSX, and today I'm going to show you how to encrypt your Mac's hard drive with the File Vault utility. I'm going to explain what File Vault is, why you might need it, even if you're using a T2 Mac, and then talk about how to enable it. If you just want to enable File Vault, I have time codes in the description and on screen, so you can jump straight to that. File Vault is Mac's built in full disk encryption tool. Let's say someone steals your Mac. They could very easily plug it into another Mac and siphon off your data. While you may not care about everything on your machine, there are probably some files that you don't want anyone to have access to. Things like tax documents, medical records, or your secret plans to take over the world. So to prevent this, you can use File Vault to encrypt your drive and prevent people from being able to see and access that data. When it's enabled, anytime your Mac is shut down, the drive will be encrypted with an XTS AES 128-bit encryption algorithm. There are details about it in the description if you want to go read more, but in the simplest terms, this is a very complex math problem that makes your data appear scrambled to anyone that's not you. This is the same algorithm that's used in other disk encryption tools, such as its Windows 10 counterpart, BitLocker. For disk encryption purposes, it's very solid and secure, provided you have a good long password. So in this scenario, when someone takes your Mac and tries to get your files off of it, they won't be able to see any of that data because it will look just like a bunch of garbled, nonsensical data. So if your data looks like nonsense to everyone but you, then how does your Mac know who to let in to see it? With any of these encryption algorithms, you need a key that will complete the equation and log you into your machine. That key is typically your Mac's account passcode. When you turn on your Mac, you'll be able to log in with the user account almost immediately. Typing in your password or the password of an account with the right permissions will start the decryption process on that machine, thus letting you use the Mac and access that data. So this won't help you so much when you're using the Mac or if your machine is hacked, but will help should you be concerned that you may lose your Mac either temporarily or permanently. With increased security may mean a loss of convenience though. If you forget your password, then you won't be able to access your data either. However, you are typically given one get out of jail free card in the form of a recovery key. No, not that kind of key. This kind of key. This is an encryption key and it is your fail safe. This is what you'll use in the event that your password isn't working or is forgotten. Apple gives the option to have this key either in the form of a long string of letters and numbers that you store yourself or to keep it in iCloud and let you unlock your Mac via another device tied to your iCloud account. Now, if you have a Mac manufactured since 2017, it may have something called the T2 chip that handles some of these secure functions. And for Macs with these, your drive is encrypted already. Kind of. See, when your Mac is turned off, the drive is encrypted because the Mac keeps a key in the T2 chip. Because it's in hardware, it doesn't slow down your Mac as much during startup. And if someone takes the SSD chips out of your Mac, they still can't access the data because it's encrypted. However, it's not as full featured as File Vault because as soon as you turn on the Mac, the decryption process can start happening even without you logging in. So this T2 chip provides some additional security, but for a fuller defense, you'll still want to enable File Vault. With all that said, let's get File Vault up and running. To enable File Vault, go to System Preferences, then click on the Security and Privacy pane. Once you're in there, hit the File Vault tab at the top of the window. For most machines, File Vault will be disabled, though again, if you're using a T2 Mac, you still have some protection when your Mac is off. Unlock the pane by clicking the padlock icon in the bottom left hand corner and type in your admin credentials. Now the turn on button should be highlighted. Hit turn on and type in your admin credentials. Now it'll prepare the recovery key process in the event you forget your password. Starting in macOS Yosemite, you have the option to store this recovery key in iCloud and thus allowing you to unlock your device via another Apple device you have. And this is a more convenient option, though if you do it, you'll want to make sure that your Apple devices and your iCloud account are secure. If you'd rather be on the more secure side and are okay with managing the key yourself, or if you have multiple users on this Mac, then you'll want to hit create recovery key and don't use iCloud account. If you use the iCloud option, Select it, then hit OK. The machine will take a minute or two to communicate with iCloud and then start encrypting your drive.
If you choose the recovery key option, you'll be presented with a long string of characters that you will absolutely need to have stored somewhere outside of this Mac. Perhaps you could store it in a password manager, a secure password notebook, encrypted in a cloud storage provider, just somewhere that's not exclusively on the Mac. In the event you forget your Mac's password, you'll need this code to get into your Mac again and get your data. If you lose it, then the data will be irretrievable and the Mac will have to be wiped and reloaded to be used again. Whichever process you choose, the encrypting process will start and it cannot be stopped or interrupted until it's completed. It will take several hours to finish depending on the size of your internal drive, the power of your processor, etc. So this is probably one of those things best run overnight. Once it's done, the system preferences window will say that a recovery key has been set and encryption finished. Now, whenever your Mac is turned off, the hard drive will be fully encrypted and can't be unlocked without the sign-in of the authorized account. There may be a slight difference when you turn your Mac back on with the login screen. If you're using an Intel Mac, you'll be presented with the icon or icons for the accounts with permissions to decrypt the drive and a blank password box for the one selected. On Apple Silicon Macs, you may see this option, but you can instead set it to show a blank username and password box or use smart login cards for enterprises. To disable File Vault, you'll have to log in, go back to the Security and Privacy pane in System Preferences, and then hit the Turn Off button under the File Vault tab. Note this process will also take a long time, about as long as it took to encrypt the drive. Just be patient with it. But otherwise, that's all you have to do and the basics of what you need to know about setting up File Vault for yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check us out on the website, easyosx.net, as well as on our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.